GM 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 welcome to Web3 Club. In today's video what we are going to understand is how we bulk upload a bunch of NFTs onto OpenSea. For purists out there it's not exactly uploading to OpenSea as much as uploading to the blockchain and then it's sort of showing up on the OpenSea but this is exactly what people actually want to do at the end of the day. They want to create a few NFTs and start selling them on OpenSea. With the current method that I'm going to show you today you will be also able to sell it on multiple other nft marketplaces and sell it via your own smart contract so if you want to make some changes to the contract you're welcome to just go ahead and make those changes and it will make it very easy for you as a creator to token gate your content events whatever you want with your own specific smart contract but before we get started please make sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you're new here if you want to send me a message if you want to request a new tutorial please leave it in the youtube comments down below and if you have a specific question come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out all right with that said let's get started so off camera what i've already done is i've created like 2027 20, images uh, with this doll dal e i don't know how to pronounce this doll e dal e yeah so with this doll e mini generator and i've generated like i believe 27 different images which you can see over here so this is one two three actually zero one two three four five six seven so on and so forth now what we want is we want to upload this these all of these photos directly onto OpenSea now one thing you can obviously go ahead and do is open OpenSea click on create and then just keep uploading images one by one this will be a very time consuming process and you cannot automate this because OpenSea has added a way to basically make sure that you are not a bot and the downside is that the OpenSea uses its own smart contract and you will not have your own smart contract address also the way that I'm going to show you you're not just only uploading on OpenSea although I believe OpenSea smart contracts also render everywhere else but you are actually creating your own smart contract uploading nfts to your own smart contract and then OpenSea sort of renders these this is a much better decentralized way to upload these NFTs to the blockchain and then distribute them via different marketplaces such as OpenSea or LooksRare and whatnot. So off the camera what I've done is I've uploaded these images to IPFS network and then based on the IPFS hash I've generated the metadata for each NFT and uploaded that as well to the IPFS network. This is basically how I access these metadata files so let's say I add slash zero in front of the IPFS hash and the this is the metadata file for my zeroth NFT if you want to look at the image just copy the image and just paste it over here with 0.png over here all right I think it's going to take a lot of time to load for some reason it's not loading oh so there you go this is the first image it's not completely loaded and now it is completely loaded and this is what the first NFT would look like if I go back the name of the NFT will be token zero and the description will be this is the token zero. I have intentionally not added any traits or properties because I couldn't think of any. The next thing that we need is basically we open this ERC721A repository which is like a very efficient way to mint a bunch of NFTs in one go. I have a full fledged video about using ERC721A. I will link that somewhere in the description or in the i button so if you're interested in that make sure to go watch that video as well so from this repository what i'm going to do is copy this usage file and open it in remix now i've already done that so i'll just open remix and you can see that i've sort of copied this code and pasted it over here now one thing that i have added later on was this base uri function so the base uri function looks like function underscore base uri brackets override internal view virtual returns string memory and the return value in the return value i've hard coded the ipfs string for my metadata folder so now how does this work is if let's say you want to copy this ipfs hash and paste it over here so what openc or other marketplaces as per the erc721 metadata standards what they will do is try to get 
the tokens URI and in the ERC 721A what we do is we create a base URI after which the token ID is appended. So token ID is 0, 1, 2, 3. So we will append 0. We can also append 1 and see what the result is. And this is what token ID 1 will look like in terms of metadata standards or actually metadata value. So this is something that you will have to fill out. So you create a folder with images. You upload that to IPFS. You get a hash for that folder and then you create metadata for each NFT and this is how it sort of works. Now if you're interested in learning how do we create this base URI, uh, please let me know in the YouTube comments. Just write Shobhit, please create a video on base URI and I will create a video as soon as possible. Let's assume you have this base URI and it's not that difficult to generate this base URI. There are actually tools out there that can help you with generating this base URI. So. Just search on Google how to generate base URI for your NFT collection and this is something that you should be able to figure out. Alright, so then once this NFT contract is ready, I am ready to deploy it to any of the blockchains. One thing that you can always make sure is that instead of making this a hard coded value, what you can do is you can create a new variable called base URI and store this value over there and then return the base URI variable in this function. So that now you have a way to change that base URI by creating a new function called set base URI where you sort of change that base URI. All right, now coming back, now we're going to deploy this smart contract. So I've already done that. I select this injected web3, uh, connect my MetaMask to Remix and then clicked on deploy. So I already have a deployed smart contract over here it's not that difficult so let me just do it again to show you what happens so i've selected injected web3 over here and then i clicked on deploy so a transaction pop-up shows up and i click on confirm once this transaction confirms my nft smart contract will be deployed and now you can see that i already had one my nft smart contract over here i also get another one over here or you can check out the the transaction link over here which says view on ether scan so now in this new nft smart contract what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on mint and write the quantity of nfts that i want to mint so in my specific example i have uploaded 27 nfts so i'm just going to write 27 you can of course make it 150 200 500 thousand I have tested up to 10,000 but nothing beyond that. I tried testing for 20,000 it was giving me an error where basically you know the gas runs out. Why does that happen? Because on Ethereum blockchain and EVM blockchains there is a maximum limit the amount of gas that you can spend on a specific transaction. So if you've been trying to mint 20,000 of these NFTs in one single transaction it sort of runs out of the gas that you know block can access so i click 27 over here and click on transact and now the transaction is just going through so i just need to click on confirm and the transaction should finish so i click on view on ether scan and you can see the transaction is still in a pending state it has not gone through yet let's just wait for the transaction to complete and as i said i got a notification that a transaction has completed let me just refresh this and you can see the transaction has completed and here you can see that the, there have been 27 ERC721 transfers. So the token ID is 0, 1 and all, up, all the way up to 26. So these are 27 NFTs that were just minted. The gas required would not have been outrageously high for this. This was 141k gas which is not that high compared to what you would end up paying if you would upload these one by one to OpenSea. All right, so now let me just open testnets.opensea.io and let me open my profile. Now you can see that these tokens are already present over here to 24, 25, 18, three, right? So let me just click on the, on one of the tokens and you can see this token five, which is actually sixth in the, in the listing, but this is token five, the ID is five. You can see that here it says created by you, which means me. The description is, this is the token five that I had already shown. And the name is token five, which is again, what I had shown earlier for token zero and one. And you can see that the image is also the one that we wanted. So if I just open 
5.png over here this is the same image that you see on OpenSea. So this is how you sort of create a bunch of NFTs and upload them directly to OpenSea and a bunch of different other marketplaces. If you go to LooksRare you will see this collection over there as well with all the NFTs belonging to me. I can of course now go to the collection page and customize this collection page because I am the owner right. So if I click on edit, I can upload the logo, the feature image, the banner image. I can also change the name, change the URL, description, category, blah, blah, blah. You know the gist. I can also add royalty over here by just entering the percentage fees, which can be like, let's say 10% and entering my payout wallet address over here. I will link to all of these things in the description down below. So you can go and check it out. In preparation of this video, I had tried a 10,000 mint as well and it worked. Uh, you can see that, you know, I've collected 5.6 thousand NFTs because there were 10,000 that I've minted for myself. And you can see them coming here one by one. They don't have any image or anything related, just the NFT, which has nothing in it and it belongs to me. So I will link to the transaction with which I was able to generate 10,000 NFTs in one go. And I will also share the transactions and the OpenSea link for the collection that we have just minted. And that is it. This is how you bulk upload the NFTs to a blockchain and let them show up on OpenSea, looks rare and any other marketplace that is out there. I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. If you're new here, it really helps me out if you leave a comment and I also get to read what you have on your mind, what advice, what questions you have. And if you have a specific question, please come join my discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. Hope to see you again next week with a new video. Till then, bye-bye.